Hello from Gardening at Duenza and welcome back to my mini series from behind the scenes at Kew. Now I have another great orchid video for you today and we're going to be led by the eminently knowledgeable Alberto who's going to show me around another orchid room. Wait till you see what's ahead. There are the most enormous, giant, rambling Sologenes, five or six absolute monsters that I want to show you, together with some more orchids that have been kept in that temperate cool zone. So come on, let's get in there. Let's have a look at these amazing plants. Zone. So this was donated to the Botanic Gardens? Yes, right? yes, just recently. It's a Cymbidium species, Cymbidium aeritrus telum. A warm Cymbidium. Yes. Can you imagine trying to move that? Put your hand in there and just give us an idea of what would be involved to actually water that in the <laughs> private collection? It would be ridiculous. And no chance of repotting. <laughs> but it's beautiful, isn't it? Really, really beautiful flowers. The famous? Wolbophyllum phalaenopsis. Wow. Yeah. Not it's, flowering. It's, but is it flowering size yet, do you think? I reckon it must be. But at least they're quite temperamental as plants. They don't flower. At least not here very easily. And if they do, then they wait a little bit for, for the next one. But I think now this is, this is definitely flowering size for this one. Or you'd have to vacate the premises if it did flower. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the true Sologeny ponderata. Fabulous, fabulous flowers. And look how they've grown it. Looks like a piece of tree fern. Yes. And it's wrapped round and round and round. And again being grown on a tree fern. And I wonder is this a tree fern they experimented with leaving outdoors? <laughs> <laughs> I've tried that experiment too. <laughs> and look how they are growing this against this paper backing. An enormous selogeny that just kind of rambles and rambles Definitely and rambles. rambles. <laughs> And you might think, oh no, not for me. I couldn't deal with that in a home environment. And probably you couldn't. But when I show you the flowers now, you might be tempted to try. They are really beautiful, beautiful things. Now they're up high, so it's difficult to see them properly. But really, really fantastic. So this is the one that they were growing on the paper over on the other side. But in a pot. <laughs> but in a pot. Making it seem all the more manageable for people yeah. who are just dying to have to have a go. And it's just beginning to open here. The flowers in the other one were much bigger, I guess, yes. just more mature plants. Mm, probably, yeah. It's very nice. It's a very elegant habit, isn't it? With it the, is, yeah. It has and its own great. umbrella up above as well. Is that a Lusitana? Oh, uh -huh. yes. One of my favorite. It has been pollinated. Nice big fat seed yeah. capsule so maturing the, there. Oh, these are the... two plums and there are two different um, accessions, so two different, totally different genetically, 
so they've been cross-pollinated. You mean they're not sister plants? Exactly, yes. Okay. So they have good, good variability and they are doing well because look at that, now the flowers, flower spikes. Yeah. And thrips, never, never <laughs> as well. Look at that, damn thing. Fimbriata, but like you've never seen it before. First flowering? First flowering, yes. Corianthus macranta, the bucket orchid. And what do you do when something flowers for the first time in queue? Uh, we get it verified, so we call, we either send pictures or call the experts from the herbarium. Uh -huh. uh, if we are not sure about the identification, so they can tell us what, what it is. And then do you break open the champagne? <laughs> <laughs> and usually we pollinate it, so we are, we, are sure that we're gonna have some backup in case of. Oh, but then the flower fades very yeah, but quickly. Then I know, but <laughs> they're not here for the flowers. <laughs> oh. Not only, not only. I mean. Are you here for the flowers now, Alberto? Okay, Tell the truth. The flowers, yes. <laughs> Another monster. So it's been pollinated by a desirable other plant yes. and that's just to stop any accidental pollination before that one takes, is it? Yeah, and, and to, uh, to protect the fruit from creepers and crawls that maybe want to eat it. They're very quick to open, when, maybe when you don't expect them to right. open. So if, if it opens, the, all the small seeds will stay inside the packet. Right. And does Q have a laboratory then? We kind of use the one of the science, so we bring our seeds there and they get germinated. But right. it's more to have a, a, our own collection also on, in seeds. Right. So if something happens to the plant, we can always you can regenerate. regenerate yes. yes. A seed bank. It's one of the dendrobiums with the black hairs on its cane. These are all flowers to come. Look at that. Oh yes. Oh, they're very, very furry little nubbins, aren't they? Up, up here as well. Yeah. Or, or cake is maybe. Oh, wow, look at that. Another one. Some buds. Oh, it's going to be amazing. Chunky, kind of pyramid-like, suitable. It's really yeah, nice. I love big pseudobulbs. The, that's the uh, Colossum. Mm. Very hairy one. Cute little plant here. Smells really, really nice. And it looks like it has Lots more flower spikes to come. And you might think these frags are really big in size, but have a look at these ones over the other side. These ones are absolute, absolute monsters. Now look at just the pot size in some of them. It's <laughs> enormous. And we have flowers as well. And Alberto says that these get watered every other day, so they don't actually sit in water, as some of the smaller ones do. But, well, whatever's being done to them, they're thriving on. So sick plants or small divisions are ones that have just come out of propagation and it's in a kind of a tent yeah. that you close over at night or? Uh, the 
depends on the on the on the plants really. Um, it started as a, as more as a shade sh shaded place. Right. Uh, but probably if, if we had these plants are, have been already reported, so they're just they kind of autonomy autonomy now. And yeah. You have to eat it up underneath the benches. Right. So it eats up and you have to face water, so it's it's nice and moist. Yes. I see over here it's just shade cloth that's yes. been used. Yeah. Wasn't that just amazing? I had such a great day there. And the good news is that there are more orchid videos to come from Q and other interesting plant videos. So stay tuned for more of the same fantastic stuff. Bye for now.